Hey everybody, you guys want to do a quiz today? Let's do a quiz. 20 sentences that you can complete test your English skill. Let's get started. All right, all right. Good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? It's good to see you. Thanks for coming back. If it's your first time, welcome. My name is Greg and I'm your teacher today. I hope I can be your teacher every day, but there's lots of teachers. I'll be one of your teachers. Anyway, today we're gonna to do a short quiz, 20 questions, 20 questions. And you're gonna be completing sentences to test your knowledge of vocabulary. Okay, so I'm going to give you multiple choice. <clears throat> And you're gonna fill in the blank, gap fill, however you wanna call it. So we're just gonna test your vocabulary knowledge. At the end, at the end, write a note at the bottom. Write a note down below that tells us, tells me your score. How many did you get right? How many did you get wrong? I think you probably do pretty well. We'll see. We will see, and at the end also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like the video, and definitely, definitely subscribe to this channel because we make lots and lots of new videos every week just for you to improve your English communication skills, your knowledge of communication in English. Grammar, vocabulary, sentence structure, verb tense, expressions, uh, all kinds of cool stuff that you need to learn to improve your English. So let's get started. First question, the blank man paid for my ticket. <clears throat> I like him, he's nice. The hard man paid for my ticket. The terrible man paid for my ticket. The angry man paid for my ticket. The kind man paid for my ticket. So you like him, he's nice. Is he hard, terrible, angry, or kind? Correct answer is kind. The kind man paid for my ticket. Number two, after he washed and waxed his car, it looked very, looked very what? It looked very rusty. It looked very dirty. It looked very shiny. It looked very old. So he washed and waxed his car to make it look more what? To make it look more what? Make it look more shiny. <clears throat> shiny. If you see words in the list like rusty and you don't know what it is, this is a really good opportunity for you to pause the video, look it up. Look up the word online. Get the meaning of the word rusty so that you can understand what it means. Next, number three. I am blank because I passed my math test. I passed my test, so that makes me what? I am tired, I'm upset, I'm sad, I'm glad. I passed my test, that's a good thing, right? So you would be glad. You're glad that you passed your math test. Next one, the extra blank shirt was too blank for me. Extra big shirt was too crazy for me. Extra large shirt was too big for me. Extra heavy shirt, too small. Extra wet shirt, too rainy. Which pair fits in these two blanks? The extra large shirt was too big for me. That word pair is what fits properly. Next question, the party was blank. The party was what? Everybody had a good time. Everybody had a good time. So the party was fun. Party was small. Party was fast. Party was strong. Everybody had a good time. So when we look at which word fits, you have to look at the rest of the sentence. We see good time. So good time means fun. The party was fun. Next, I cannot sleep because my neighbors are being so, so I can't sleep. My neighbors are the people next door or upstairs or downstairs. They are being what, happy? The neighbors are being average. The neighbors are being pretty. 
the neighbors are being noisy. Well, I can't sleep, which means it's keeping me awake. What keeps you awake? Noise keeps you awake. So the neighbors are being so noisy, noisy. I'm very tired. I need to rest. I can't do anything else. I'm exhausted. I'm afraid. I'm intense. I'm crazy. So if you really, what's another word for tired? What's another word for very tired? Another word for very tired is exhausted. I am exhausted, exhausted. Next, the movie was very funny. I laughed a lot. The movie was boring. The movie was long. The movie was dangerous. The movie was hilarious, hilarious. So what's another word for very funny? That's the key. The movie was hilarious. Hilarious is another word for, another adjective for very funny, hilarious. The air is very blank and there is blank ice on the road. Wear a jacket if you go outside and don't drive unless you have to. So the, wet, the air is very warm and there's lots of ice on the road. The weather is warm and there's ice, so ice is cold, so that doesn't look good. The weather is very, the air is very humid and there is huge ice on the road. The, weather, the air is very cold and there is a lot of ice on the road. The weather is very cool and there is many ice on the road. Many ice? Can you say many ice? Ice is uncountable, so you have to say so much ice. You couldn't say many ice. So the correct answer, the only one that fits is the air is very cold and there is a lot of ice on the road. All right, you see that? Take a look. The air is very cold and there is a lot of ice on the road. That's the only pair that fits there. Turtles are blank. They are not fast. So we're looking for the opposite of fast. Turtles are very slow. Turtles are quick. Turtles are hard. Turtles are dangerous. Dangerous turtles, look out. Be careful of the dangerous turtles. What's the opposite of fast? Easy one, the turtles, turtles are slow. They're not very fast. Next, the race was a tie, a tie. Both runners finished at blank time. At a different time, a fast time, finished at a good time, finished at the same time. What does a tie mean? That's the key, what is a tie? Tie means the same score. Tie means even. So both runners finished at the same time, the same time. Next, playing in a busy street is not very, don't play in a busy street, is not very careful, is not very boring, is not very safe, is not very fun. Well, it's not very fun to play in a busy street. Would we say not very careful? You have to be careful. We, we don't say not very careful. We say not very safe. Playing in a busy street is not very safe. Next, she felt blank after walking many miles. She felt strange after walking many miles. So if you walk many miles, you feel old, you feel angry, or do you feel tired? Many miles, walking many miles, exercise. You feel very tired. She felt tired after walking many miles, tired. Next, the newborn baby had, newborn baby, little baby had large toes, tiny toes, green toes, good toes, maybe good toes. Well, what fits best? A little baby is going to have tiny toes. Tiny means very, very small, tiny. The newborn baby had tiny toes. Next, the rope was hard to cut because it was so, hungry. The rope was so new. The rope was so sad. The rope was so thick. This should be obvious. Only one really fits. The rope was so, was hard to cut because it was so thick, thick, not thin, thick. All right. Next, this food tastes blank. It was prepared by a blank chef. The food tastes great prepared by an excellent chef. 
The food tastes good. Prepared by an angry chef. <laughs> angry chef? Food tastes far. It was prepared by a local chef. Local chef fits, far does not fit. Food tastes bitter, that fits. It was prepared by an interesting chef. So the only one that really makes sense is the food tastes great. It was prepared by an excellent chef. An excellent chef. Next, when the kids lined up, no one wanted to be last. Everyone wanted to be, well, what's the opposite of last? Everyone wanted to be happy. Everyone wanted to be first. Everyone wanted to be fun. Everyone wanted, everyone wanted to be great. But the key is the opposite. No one wanted to be last. So the opposite of last is first. Everyone wanted to be first. Amy tried to be on time for her class. However, so what's the opposite of on time? Because she say, however, however means it's not going to be the same. However, she was late. However, she was great. However, she was funny. However, she was poor. Amy tried to be on time. She tried to be on time for class. However, so we're looking for the opposite of on time. So the opposite of on time is late. However, she was late. When his sister took the toy away, Johnny was very, so his sister took the toy away. So how did he feel? He felt thankful. He was very hungry. He was very unhappy. He was very slow. Mm. So if somebody takes something away from you, how do you feel? You probably feel unhappy. John was very unhappy. Next, when I said the correct answer, the teacher told me that I was, well, what's the same meaning as correct? The correct answer is teachers told me I was right, what I was, that I was wrong, that I was thin, or that I was near. When I said the correct answer, so what word means the same as correct? The teacher told me that I was right, that I was right. And that's it. How many did you get? I'm sure you got most of these correct, if not all. How many did you get wrong? If you got any wrong, go back and go see why. If there's any words that you don't, that you didn't quite understand or you weren't clear, this is a really good opportunity to uh, improve your vocabulary, to look up a few words. And as always, make sure that you do reading and make sure you do listening exercises to improve your English communication. My students always ask me, how can I improve my English? And the answer is always read and listen, listen and read and listen and read to things that are interesting to you because reading can be a little boring, but if it's a subject that you're interested in, read about that. Okay, so that's all until next time. Please remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, new videos all the time for your English improvement. I'm glad that you're here and I will see you next time. Good job today. See you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.